Good morning, friends. It is Monday, October 30th. It's like quarter of six in the morning. I just uh, filmed my daily plan for today. I'm going to vlog today. I haven't really been vlogging very much lately. We've just been so busy. Emma was sick, it really threw off our end of cross country season for her. I have really been focusing on homeschool and getting stuff done because we just have a few weeks before our long winter break, which I'm so excited about. I know the kids are excited too. Um, today is going to be a pretty heavy homeschool day. Mondays usually are very homeschool heavy. I try not to have any other things going on today so that I can really deep dive on homeschool. I do have a few home projects that I'm hoping to work on that I pulled off of the Passionate Penny Pincher Home Planner. If you've not seen this planner, I do have a review and walkthrough of it. There is a digital version, so if you are like me and are just primarily using the checklist pages or the checklists that are within this planner, you don't necessarily need the physical planner. For me, it's easier because I can just leave it out in my kitchen and as I have time, if there are like extra pockets of time where I don't have things on my planner, I can look at this and choose a task that needs to be done. I don't do these things on the days that they are prescribed on the planner, but having it just available so if I do have time I can uh, work on something is very helpful. So I, it's very early and everybody's still asleep. I'm going to get another cup of coffee and then I'm going to sit down and do a little bit of work. I was able to do all three tiers of my morning routine this morning, which is lovely because I was up at 4.30. So early. But one of the keys to my success, to me feeling successful, is getting up when I wake up. Now, if I wake up at two o'clock in the morning, I'm not getting up. But if I wake up at 4.15, 4.30, I get up, I feel less tired when I do that than if I just go back to sleep until 5.30, 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock. I just feel better waking up early. I know that's not for everybody, but over the years, it has been what has worked for me. Years and years and years ago, when Emma was a baby, I just tried to sleep as much as possible. And I realized that when I don't get up before my kids, I feel more frazzled. I feel more discontent within my day because I'm not taking that time that I need first thing in the morning to center myself and prepare for the day. I need the quiet. I'm an introvert. I'm a highly sensitive person. And so I take it on the front end of my day, which also means that by the afternoon, I'm pretty much done with thinking tasks and can only do, you know, habit-based things. So I need some more coffee. I'm going to sit down and watch the news, which probably shouldn't, but that's what my normal day is. Not the news news. I watch business news, CNBC, and um, work a little bit on some work tasks. See how our day goes. Tell me. Uh, I reached 27,000 in my book. <laughs> Are you excited? Mm -hmm. And um, your goal yeah. is 30,000 mm -hmm. before yeah. Monday? I mean Wednesday? Yeah. Before Nano starts? Mm -hmm. And then I start another book. But you already have an idea, right? Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I don't have an idea. <laughs> Maybe one more. the one that you were writing last year. I feel like that's cheating. Well, you were telling me to continue my book. <laughs> that's also cheating. I know. You can be a nano rebel. You can get a badge for that. Yeah. I'm very proud of you. Okay, so I am done with my walk. I made breakfast for Lucy. I took a shower, which I really needed after my walk, and my back is feeling eh. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not, but I threw my back out a couple of weeks ago, and so I haven't really been doing any exercise, and today was the first day that I have tried to do anything since then, and I definitely think that I need to do some more stretching. Jack and Emma are supposed to be doing school, but it sounds like they're singing at the moment. 
maybe playing. Lucy is upstairs playing. I'm going to clean my kitchen now. So today is Monday and I do a Monday reset. Oftentimes that will also include laundry, but all of my laundry is done because our machine is broken. So I got everything done yesterday, but I did not clean my kitchen. I try to keep Sunday as a Sabbath day and not do work on that day. And oftentimes that means that there are pots and pans in the sink. I could probably plan a little bit better to manage that, but I haven't at this point. Maybe that's something I will work on in 2024 with my goals, but um, you know, if I'm taking the day off from work and nobody else wants to do work either, then it means that Monday morning I'm having to clean things up. It's like quarter of nine right now. So I'm going to clean the kitchen and vacuum and kind of just get everything tidy. I did already go over the work with the kids. So we've had our Monday meeting. And so I'm feeling good about the morning so far. When I have these super early mornings, I feel so productive and accomplished early in the morning. Now, come three o'clock, I'm going to be dead pretty much just not functional. And that's a little difficult, but that's okay. I'm So I'm gonna clean the kitchen. I'm going to get the chicken in the crock pots and then start school with Lucy. So it'll be a little bit later start for our, our homeschool. Um, technically my homeschool block is supposed to start at 8.30 on Monday, but it's probably going to be closer to 9.30 or 10 um, once I get the kitchen all tidied and do all the food. I also have leftover rice, so I'm going to make rice pudding, and I have a bunch of ripe bananas, so I have to make banana muffins as well. Um, well, I don't have to, but I don't want to throw them away. So it's quite a bit going on. I will probably do some of that stuff while Lucy is working at the table with cursive spelling and her math. Yes. All right, now I have to get going. <laughs> school with Jack and Lucy. Lucy still has spelling to do and we have to work on her math. I'm actually going to make some rice pudding right now. It's about 11 o'clock. I do still need to do history with Emma. She's working on her chemistry right now. Jack and Lucy are upstairs arguing. <laughs> I'm going to make the rice pudding. My voice is starting to give out because I've been reading for the past hour. So I will show you the recipe that I use. So this Better Homes and Gardens cookbook is my absolute favorite cookbook. It's obviously seen better days, but I got this when I first got married. This is the recipe that I loosely follow. I am notoriously bad at following recipes, even baking recipes like bread or cookies. I am not so precise with measurements. So I will actually use more eggs and probably more milk, about the same amount of sugar. I don't have any vanilla. I use way more rice, no raisins. Yes to cinnamon, I don't have nutmeg. So that's what we're going to do right now. I have the oven preheating to 325 and I need to get my um, pan with water into the oven and then I will mix everything together. So I'm using seven eggs and then the sugar. I will mix that together and then add my milk. I also put, I don't know, probably a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon in. And now I'm just going to add milk. I think I'm actually gonna need a little bit more milk. So this is all ready to go into the oven. I put my water in my nine by 13 and this is, is it an eight by eight or a nine by nine pan? 
can't remember at the moment. I will look and let you know. So I'm going to attempt to put this in the oven without spilling it. I had just enough liquid <laughs> to fill the whole pan. I think it's essentially like a double recipe, but I still make it in the same size pan. It takes longer to bake, but it should be done around lunchtime. Let's do a quick check on my Monday list. I did the floors and I vacuumed. I've not done surfaces and office desk. Dust furniture, no. Wash the tub, no. Kids chore chart, no. Dishes I did. I did my walk. I haven't vacuumed the basement. I did add Christmas lists and goals onto my Monday <laughs> to-do list because I do need to get my goals set up for November. I've done a little bit of preliminary work in my Lightstrom notebook that I'm using for goal setting this year, but I haven't done too much with that. And Christmas lists, if I have time this afternoon and I'm sitting down, I might be able to work on my Christmas lists. I just have a little notebook that I use to keep all of the holiday stuff in. Um, and this, I started this one last year. I usually keep them for multiple years. Uh, and then down here, I've, I'm thinking about creating a November thankfulness printable. If that is something that I do actually complete, I will leave a link for it in the description box because this video will be up way later than November 1st, um, but you could obviously use that if you would like. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about today. And I just got, I haven't made bread and I don't think I'm going to have time to make bread today, but. I forgot that I also had rice for rice pudding and need to make banana muffins. So I may have Matt pick up a bag of stuffing mix at the store. So I am just waiting for Emma to finish her chemistry quiz and then we're going to go do history and then I'm going to make myself some food um, for lunch and uh, the rice pudding will probably be done, I would say around 12.30. So in about an hour and I'm feeling pretty good about the day. Nothing out of the ordinary because we don't have cross country in the afternoons. We just have so much more time <laughs> in our day. You wouldn't think that Emma going to cross country for an hour to two hours in the afternoon would really impact our day that much, but it definitely does. So having this time to just be able to focus on homeschooling and get ready uh, to finish up our first semester is really, really good for me. Um, I'm glad that I didn't put record a bunch of videos down today because I have done that in the past <laughs> because I'll think, oh, it's Monday. Monday is a fresh start. I'll be able to get some stuff done. But inevitably, I am always cleaning up from the weekend because I do take Sunday as a Sabbath rest, meaning I am not doing a bunch of chores on that day. Typically, sometimes I will do one of the bigger projects, but I try to just be able to relax, watch football, plan out the week, plan homeschool for the week, and just enjoy time with my family. So that is definitely what I did yesterday. Even though I cleaned up the kitchen this morning, there are still dishes in the sink that I need to work on, but I'm not going to do those until later. Yeah, things are going well. Okay, it is 1.30, we just finished school. Well, I finished school, school with Emma. Lucy still has a little bit of math left to do, but she's not had a good mood today. So I don't know if we're going to get to that or not. And honestly, when I, I totally follow Julie Bogart's rule that if there are tears, the learning is done for the day because you, at that point, your kid is not learning anything. Now, sometimes it is a, a heart issue or behavior issue that needs to be addressed, and sometimes they're just having a hard day. So I think Lucy is just having a hard day today. She banged her head on the table when she was trying to pick up her pencil, and that kind of... <laughs> went downhill from there. So I will show you the book that we just finished, Emma and I. We just finished this World War I book, this Uncle Eric World War I book, and I know that I've mentioned this a couple of times. When I originally um, went through the level 300 books for Emma, I wasn't sure if we were going to use this book or not because when we did level 100, we did have the World War II book and didn't really enjoy it. So 
as I've gone through this, we really enjoyed this book. And I think that the reason that I didn't enjoy the World War II book as much is because this book right here is a precursor to it. It referred to a lot of things that are going to be talked about in the World War II book. And so there's obviously this series and I think that it makes more sense to read them in order um, than it does to pull them out of order. So technically Jack has the World War II book this year and I wasn't going to read it because I just figured why bother we didn't like it the first time around I'm not going to bother reading it again but now that I've read this book I am actually going to read World War II with both Jack and Emma so I will hold off on that book until well it actually it may end up being about the same time because Jack's doing level 100 which is American history and Emma's just doing 20th century history so perhaps by the time we get to World War II Jack will also be at World War II maybe maybe not so that was a really good book I really liked it quite a bit and um, I'm looking forward to the World War II book which I read maybe three four years ago now three years ago it was three years ago when Emma was in seventh grade we did level 100 because that was the trajectory that we were on at that point and um, really enjoyed level 100. We have been reading the new level 100 spine that I'm not a fan of. It's uh, America the Last Best Hope I think is what it's called and that replaced the Joy Hakeem books. We always had a lot of discussion around the Joy Hakeem books, some of her bias on certain events um, and researching the other side of different events. We would do that when we did level 100 and had a lot of great discussion. But um, this America, The Last Best Hope is a long book and there's no pictures or diagrams or added notes or anything. I mean, there's notes in the instructor's guide, but it's just very dry to just see text constantly. <laughs> so we've given it about a semester and we will probably switch to the Joy Hakeem books in the spring semester or when we come back in January. So we'll see. But um, we got all of the history done. We had a ton of great discussion. I actually started history with Emma at like 12 and it takes us about an hour and a half. I'm, I wasn't reading that much. I think I only had 20 pages to read with her, but we stop and discuss like after every single paragraph. And that is one of my favorite things about homeschooling high school. So many good discussions, so many differing viewpoints. Emma's Emma has differing viewpoints than me on a lot of things and argues them well. And I like to share why I feel about certain things or why I feel the way I do about certain things. And um, it's really interesting to kind of just debate back and forth and discuss and agree and disagree. It's a lot of fun, I enjoy it. Um, yes, so we did eat the rice pudding. There's like none left at this point. It, there never is. My kids eat a ton of rice pudding. There's not that much sugar in it, so I'm not all that concerned. Um, and just eggs, milk, and rice essentially. So. That was good for lunch. Now Emma's gone out to run and it's raining. Jack and Lucy are playing upstairs and I am probably going to try and do a little bit of cleaning. I was supposed to pause at one, my pause alarm for my goals. I didn't because I was still reading. So I don't know if I will do that soon, <laughs> but I need to get a little bit more cleaning done. Um, I'm, not, I'm not going to get all of my cleaning done today that I wanted to, that's okay. I kind of wanna sit down and work on my goals a little bit, but I also kind of wanna sit down and just have a cup of tea because I've been reading since like 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> my voice is really shot. So that is an update for right now. And I will check in again soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just finished cleaning the kitchen and now I need to clean off my desk. 
I just need to put my planners away, which go right here on this shelf. Um, I've been keeping the planners that I'm using for next year over there. And some of the planners that I just refer to occasionally, like my Passionate Penny Pincher Home Planner, that goes in there. Um, over there is where my weekly planner goes, but I just have a bunch of junk over there at the moment, so that needs to be cleaned off as well. Um, but yes, so as soon as I finish doing this, I feel pretty good about how the day has gone. It's like 2.15 right now, and Emma is outside running, which I just showed you, in the rain during hunting season. <laughs> so that's really good. Lucy is watching YouTube. I am drinking my afternoon coffee to keep me going. Um, I think I'm not going to do the basement today. I was going to try and vacuum, but I'm just not motivated. Dusting upstairs, I'm going to have Lucy do. And then I just need to wipe out the tub, which I'm going to do after I clean off my desk. Then the only other things that I have on my list are Christmas lists and goals. But I don't think I'm ready to actually sit down and write out my goals for November. It's kind of hard because, and I mentioned this in my fall refresh video, which I did at the end of August, I don't really treat the last quarter of the year as the last quarter of the year. My goals essentially end usually mid-November <laughs> when we finish up our first semester for homeschool and then move to just holiday, tradition, baking, fun things like that. And so I don't really have, I have a bunch of like to-do list items for November, but I don't really have anything to work on necessarily for goals. There, you know, I still want to work on my AM routine. I still want to work on, um, you know, my budgeting and my finance stuff. I still want to make sure I'm homeschooling well and leaning into the kids' passions, which was a part of my homeschooling goal for the year. I still want to maintain my home management system that I talked about a few weeks ago, creating and implementing that. I'd like to improve upon it, but I don't think that I'm going to have as much time to work on that over the next couple of months. Part of it is a new chore chart for the kids, but that's kind of going to be revisited anyways in January. This is just what I need the kids to take care of in November and December as we're moving into the holiday season. So I don't have like a ton that I want to work on for goal things. To-do list items, yes, but not necessarily goal things. Um, I do want to continue going through this quick start guide. I have considered making a TBR, a, a to be read list for next year because I have not done as well with my reading this year as I normally do, or I as I have for the past couple of years. That is probably a better way to say it. I am reading a ton of books, but when I don't have a book going that I love, I go through like weeks of time where I'm just reading, you know, 80 to 120 pages of books that I download not being very interested and then not finishing them and then just not finishing the book or a book. And so I think I'd like to have maybe, I'd like to pick out maybe 52 um, nonfiction books to read because I haven't been reading a lot of nonfiction this year. This past month I've actually read quite a bit of nonfiction because I'm starting to think about goals. So I'm rereading like Atomic Habits and The One Thing by Gary Keller and, you know, um, what else am I reading? The 12 Week Year I just read again. Um, Side Hustle I just read again. Um, Strengths Finder I was just reading. Uh, so and these are all books that I own and so they're rereads but I'd like to read some new books as well but I just don't have a list to go off of and I'd also like to find some new homeschool books because I think I've read every single homeschool book that has ever been written. <laughs> like every single one of them. So um yeah, if you have recommendations, please leave them. I am open to any and all fiction, nonfiction, whatever you think is good, I would love to see. Um, but yes, so again, it's 2.15. 
I need to clean off my desk and wipe out the tub and then I think I am going to sit down and work a little bit on this quick start guide and maybe I will write out my goals or maybe I will just do a little bit of reading. I'm reading Rich Dad Poor Dad right now. Uh, I think it's like the 25th anniversary edition maybe, 30th. I don't know how, how old the, that book is but um, it's it's funny and interesting so I'm enjoying that and it's a quick read too. So I will probably do a little bit of that and just sit take a breath, <laughs> maybe do that pause that I was supposed to do at one. My desk is clean now, which is good. And I started putting up my wall calendars. This is for work. I'm trying to figure out what the heck I want to do. I want to be able to see what the heck I'm doing <laughs> each day. But the problem is, even when I put it on the wall over there, I can't actually see it from my desk. I've been using Google Cal this year for content planning uh, because it's easy to drag and drop things, but I also really don't like going into Google Cal. I want to be able to have like a really long list of things. I haven't figured out how to do that. I'm, you know, not a digital planner, so there's probably some functionality of Google Cal that I just don't know about. Uh, but I can't be bothered with it. I do, I would prefer to be able to just have lists and probably use a pencil and get my content ideas on the big calendar. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm still, it's still possible. Actually, let me grab that and I'll show you. I got this um, season by season weekly planner from Cultivate What Matters and I did a whole review of it. It's, it's new, the weekly planner is new and I really, really like it a lot. I don't like the coil and I don't like the tabs and, but what I really like is this weekly refresh section. And I think that would be very helpful for me as far as planning my weeks goes. And then it's just a basic hourly planner. Um, but the thing is, if I use that and my weekly planner for personal planning, I don't know if I necessarily have a need for my daily planner. And perhaps that is okay. And maybe I won't use a daily planner next year, but I also really like writing down a to-do list every day. Can I do that just on a pad of paper? Absolutely. So I'm kind of up in the air about that because I do really like the weekly reset pages that are in the season by season planner. It's not necessarily goal oriented. You would partner that with the power sheets if you were to use a goal planner. Uh, with this weekly planner, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I do better when I'm writing down ideas. I have tons of just note cards that I use for all kinds of different notes and then I lose track of them, which is why I like bound books because then I don't lose track of things. So maybe the big wall calendar will not work decisions. But I am going to wrap up this vlog here. It's about three o'clock and um, we don't have anything going on this afternoon. I might work on my goals. In fact, I think that I am going to work on my goals. The kids are done with school. They're just playing and hanging out. I've done all of the cleaning things that I need to do. Could I do more? Absolutely, but I don't want to at this point in the day. Again, if you <laughs> remember from the beginning of my video, waking up at 4.30, it's about three o'clock. So now I'm thinking, oh, I just want to kind of hang out and relax and maybe do some reading or some creative work. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of crazy day in the life. I haven't been vlogging much lately. I know that I mentioned that earlier in the video as well, but it is something that I'm planning on doing more of over the next couple of months, especially as we get towards December so I can do Vlogmas again. I completed Vlogmas last year. I'm really excited to go through that challenge again and see if I can <laughs> I can figure it out. We will see. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.